How you doing everyone? This is uh, Ken from Kenel 606 and um, just having a look at um, Dino's um, homebrew 15 video. Um, thought well let's have a drink. It's Tuesday evening, 20 past 7 so what the hell. Um, thought I'd do a review. Um, what we've got today is we've got we've got um, hang on, I don't know if you can see this we've got London a London Porter um, this is from Marks and Spencers 5.5% volume 500ml um, this is a London Porter using seven malts to create a historic recipe from 1750 a Swedish caramel flavor followed by a smoky maltness brewed in Greenwich brewed exclusively for Marks and Spencers so there we go um, and on the back it says um, ingredients malted barley malted wheat water hops and yeast um, and as usual they don't say what hops they are bloody great contains wheat barley about this beer, this London Porter is brewed in Greenwich using no fewer than seven malts to recreate a historic recipe from the 1750s for a style of beer that was once synonymous with London. A perfect match for meats as well as cheese and oysters. Well, I haven't got an oyster in sight, wouldn't want one. Um, I haven't got any cheese and I definitely haven't got a meat. So we're just going to have to um, suck it and see or drink it and see. So here we go. This is from Marks and Spencer's range. This is um, from the Meantime Brewery at Greenwich. So we'll have a little look. So. Oh, bit of smoke coming out. As it's... Um, Marks and Spencers, we get the old U Union Jack cap. Right, let's see how it pours. I'm hoping this has got a bit of sweetness and a bit of chocolatey because the porters I've been having lately have been so bitter, you, um, there's nothing to them. Here we go, let's pour it up. Excuse me for pouring it like this, guys. As many of you know, I'm cack handed. And here we go. Um, it's not a bad head. Uh, one and a half finger head at the moment holding. Um, nice colour. Um, a brown, dark brownie red. Or brown, light, light brown black. I think. Yeah, it's not looking, it's looking more dark on there than it is. Let's have a malt, it's very malty. There's not a lot of caramel coming through. I can just smell, I can smell the roasted, I can smell the roast, the roasted stuff coming through. This has come out, just come out of the fridge, so it might be better in 20 minutes but I ain't got 20 minutes so can't smell any hops at all I smell the roasted um, and it's very malty so as we say let's dive in and give it a go Interesting. It's very bitter, but you're tasting the caramel back notes. Um, yeah, it's very caramelly. No chocolate again. If anybody's watching this and they know of a nice chocolate, proper chocolate, um, stout or even a porter out there let me know because I want a real nice chocolate one that one that you can really taste chocolate overload on chocolate but this is another one where it isn't there's 
the heads disappeared. Um, the lacing's not too bad, but not the greatest. Um, this has been in the fridge since last week, because I haven't got round to it. Um, malt, I'm getting a lot of malt from it though. Let's have a look at the board on you in a minute. Getting the, not getting the sweetish, getting the caramel flavour on the back note. Um, but I am getting caramels coming through really strong. Uh, roasted, there's a roasted flavour coming through. Um, there's a big roast flavour coming through, and but you're tasting malt. I'm tasting it more malty than anything else. Um, followed by the caramel, followed by a burnt, um, a roasted or a very burnt grain taste. Um, it's not unpleasant. Gonna drink it, of course. Hell, why not? It's up for Marks and Spencer's, you know. Ooh, gassy. It's very well carbonated. Um, and as you can see how well carbonated it is there. Um, it's very nice, but as again, my search for a really nice porter goes on. The Innis and Gun Treacle Porter has been about the nicest one so far I've had. Um, but this isn't bad. Um, I recommend it. I'd. But again, I'd give this a 5 out of 10, just because I'm not tasting any chocolate and I'm desperately looking for a bit of chocolate in a Porsche or even a stout. Um, I went into Sainsbury's today, they're supposed to do a mocha chocker stout or something like that and they didn't have anything. All they had in there was Guinness in the one in Falmouth today, all they had was Guinness. I think there's some Jameson in there. They had Guinness and Jameson, that's all they had in there. That was it. They were in cans, so pretty useless. Although they had quite a bit of bulldog, uh, brew dog stuff there, but I weren't looking for brew dog. I weren't looking for that sort of thing. I wanted one of these, so went out of there empty-handed. But I shall keep going and seeing if I can find something. But that tastes no different than the finest porter I got from Tesco's just before Christmas. But um. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Um, and that's me mini review um, talking about the London Porter. Um, thanks for what, taking the time to watch. And if any of you know a really good chocolate porter, really tasty chocolate porter, real chocolate, not just the smell of chocolate, the actually taste of chocolate, or a chocolate stout that you can buy in a shop, let me know. But I will be doing brewing my own one one or two gallon batch myself when my pots come while I'm waiting. Um, maple chocolate porter I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to make sure that's chocolatey. So, um, cheers. Cheers to beers. And um, back to watching uh, videos. Back to watching uh, Dino from Tube Dino. If you're not watching him, watch him now. And... Um, See you in a homebrew Wednesday video soon. See you later. Bye now.